Yo, happy Australia Day. I said Australian earlier and then someone informed me it's wrong. If you want to do it really correctly, you just say, happy Australia Day, mate. We're here uh, in the Bronte pool, so ocean's right back there. We got cliffs all the way around. You can take this cliff walk all the way to Bondi. We're just gonna be swimming today, having a barbecue of friends. A few of my Aussie mates are coming down to barbecue. This could be an awesome Aussie Australia day in the sun. This is why I want to go to Australia because how laid back and fun and just carefree and beautiful. I should really be selling this on the Australian tourism department because that's how much I love, love Australia. You ready to go for a swim? Let's do it. Let's do it. sunny day I'm super excited when was the last time the sunshine it's been at least two days here yeah it has. so I'm heaps excited I'm using all this Australian lingo that if you guys haven't watched go check out that video as well we'll link it at the end we've we been doing that in the end we need to insulate videos at the end okay today is an exciting day though I'm gonna go start my day with some coffee and then we're heading over to do a podcast with a gal named Sarah who's amazing here in Australia, reached out to me and she was like, Steve, do you want to be on my podcast? And I checked her out and I'm like, oh, heck yeah. So Sarah's pregnant. Um, she's fitness related, like holistic approach. I like her style. So she has this amazing podcast, um, just Sarah's, S-A-R-A, -A well, we'll just link it below. I'll put it right here. I would shake your hand, but you're sick. So Alex going back into the house that's five feet away. And I'm taking my coffee and getting in the Uber. That is our amazing coffee store. I always look the wrong way when cars are coming here in the in Australia. And this is my Uber. Good day. How are you? All right. I told you guys I was super duper super duper excited to be hanging out with these Aussies today. We got Sarah, we got Kurt, and we got Abby. Yeah. Abby, why are you? Abby. Oh, you look so pretty with no, your haircut. She's not peaking. You hate it. Her haircut's a bit atrocious. Yeah. Oh, we, we have one more too that's oh. not joining us fully yet. Can't say the name. Nope. No. Nope. Baby tilts. Baby tilts. I have been privileged to know the name. What do you think of it? I love it. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I, I didn't tell them this, but I knocked up an Aussie like eight months ago. She's ready to have a baby. I'm gonna name it the same thing. No, I would die. Officially, you would leave. I better not say that. I have a girlfriend and everything. I'm not having any children. I promise you. Yeah, it's until I get any serious. Come on, I need all the other Aussies to hang out with. Yes. You're yeah. Lucky before you know it, man. I'll, I'll tell you what. If I, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I'd be on the prowl here in Australia because. Ooh. Australians are, yeah, Australians got a thing about them. It's the accent, it's yeah. the fun in the sun, like, get it? <laughs> I, <laughs> totally I, agree. Girl, I totally get it. I totally get it. And let's talk about this mustache for a second. Here. Oh man, it's pretty bad on that. No, it's actually, glorious. Look, I'm trying to like make it tweak up the sides, but you know. It's so embarrassing. You're right. No, it? I like, I like it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Say you look like a pedophile. <sighs> you call those chomos in the states, but no, I. You know what? I, I think it's you're hipster enough that you can right. rock it. Like, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. Uh oh, what do we got? You know I'm gonna be right back. Every time I give him a compliment, he runs. He goes, oh, I'll get a prop. <laughs> oh, I love wait, it. And wait. this is where we're gonna be doing the podcast. Yes. Oh, you have a very Instagrammable house, by the way. Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, it's good. Okay, so we got some. Oh cool yes. Right Oh, you look, okay. we mix it up. Whoa, we put the train hat on, man. Oh. I'm the captain now. That is good, right? That now. is like you have to be very confident to wear wear that yeah, hat. Like, very, very like if I wore that hat, let's see that real quick. <laughs> this is gonna look comical. No. G'day, mate. No, no you got this. Like yeah. No, that is, my, like head, my head is huge. You, you see how fat of a head I have? Like, I think you. Like, I have such a wide head that I always have to create width yeah. or a height on it. Um, so yeah, yeah. Wait, like, try this one. That one. This one's gonna be. Yeah, but you wear those top. Yeah, too small. again, super small in my head. The only person I was told by an eye doctor once when they measured my eyes for glasses that the only person that had a wider face than me was a 400 pound Samoan. <laughs> so like. I take it as a compliment. Yeah, you know, if, if nothing else, I got a big head. No, my mom always said 
brains. You got big brains. The, <laughs> my dad definitely would not agree with that. <laughs> to me, but hey, I'll take I'll take it. You know, big head. Big Do you know who has the biggest head of anyone I've ever met? Ben Affleck. Ben what? Affleck has big. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait. You've met him. Yeah, him. yeah, living he in has LA. Got his head. You've met him. His head is Why ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> most most actors have massive heads, and you don't think it, but on on on, on screen, actors who have big heads, it looks normal, normal. on screen. So you should so now. My, my head would look. I have I have the tiniest yeah, head that. Well, anywhere. with girls, I don't know. It's just guys, I think. I have like a, I have a child size head. My ski goggles are child goggles. Well, that's your guys' baby will not have a massive head, and a lot of times babies like. I was this kid, like, I had this massive head at four, like, I looked like a bobblehead. <laughs> like, I had pictures of like me. Like a <laughs> Yes, it was so, I, I did. I just, this massive head, because, you know, like, your kids usually have a bigger head than their body, so your baby will have, it won't have this gender. Yeah. Life's so for you. Yeah, yeah. Sure yes. Push it out. Yes. yes. Come on, mate. You're tiny like how, and how, how much longer do you think? eight weeks to go. Yes, oh, so you're coming um, down the home stretch. Sorry, I'm so mm. excited. Like, I'm so, number one, so excited to hold him, but so excited to do a handstand. Oh, we've been talking about that. And look how good this is, too. When you are when you stand straight on, you don't even know you're pregnant. Nope. And then you, oh, hey oh, <laughs> Bun in the oven. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're gonna knock out this podcast here. You guys, I'm going to link below where you can find this podcast. And then also to Instagrams and YouTube, because a lot of good stuff happening down under. You were like... The original YouTuber over here in Australia. Well, I mean, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's just like, there's definitely not as many YouTubers in Australia than there is in America. So we're, we're very scarce. Like, I don't know any YouTubers. So it's so exciting to just like even meet you in real life and be like, oh my God, like you feel my feelings. Yeah, yes. I was saying that before. It's so weird to meet you and like, like you're actually a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I think the greatest compliment. Kurt's, Kurt's finger. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think the greatest compliment when like people meet you, I'm sure you get this all the time, they say, I feel like I know you. And that's yeah. like so good because you're doing your job as a YouTuber if people feel like they know you. 100%. Yeah. So. Exactly, exactly. And you guys are both lovely. That's such an Aussie Thank term, you. I think. Love, or maybe really? English. No, I'm just lovely. lovely. Yeah, we don't really say that in the States. No, like, we're more like, that's kind of like lame. Oh, it is. You say you're lovely. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, it's a bit like. You guys are sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 Like, that's if better. you swear at us, it's like, yeah. my bro. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Bloody oath. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Stroof. <laughs> you guys Stroof. haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. <laughs>
if you didn't know. Just got checked into the Airbnb. I'm gonna give you a quick, quick little run around and then gonna go grocery shopping. Gonna work out at an F45, which is like this circuit training thing they do here. I got a friend that is like the world champion F45er of the world. I don't know if he's the world champion. He's definitely in the top five. Peter Day, we're gonna go train with him at the Bondi F45. But first, let's just show you how legit this Airbnb is. Master bedroom, 15 foot ceilings. Quickly coming through the house. Look, you arrive to a spot and you get unpacked. That's what you do. My movement watches, you got these linked below. Movement watches, movement sunglasses. There is the bathroom, nothing special to see there. Again, super high ceilings. These are solid, solid mirrors for taking pics. That's the stairs to downstairs. Guest bedroom number one, guest bathroom, guest bedroom number three up here. This is where Alec Baker will just be dropping heaters because one thing we really made sure of was we, that we had good Wi-Fi. So let's speed this up. This is TV room on the first floor. Don't know what we're gonna watch. The AFC and NFC championships are over, so it's just the Super Bowl. We got two weeks till then. We're gonna be in a super dope house for that as well. Um, bathroom, the fourth bedroom, and then such a dope kitchen. Ba-boom. What up, Alec Baker? What are you doing? Just working. Just editing a YouTube video? Right. We had a YouTube video that was a little faulty. It wouldn't let people watch it, so we're correcting that right now. I thought this picture was of Woodstock. I guess it's not. What did you say it was, Alec? Spider in the grass. Spider in the grass? Splenda. Splenda. Splenda in the grass. I think it's like one of the first original festivals. Ooh, you, it looks like marijuana leaves, but I don't think they are. Just a bunch of white Australian hippie people up in Byron Bay, which hopefully we'll be going to. Um, we got the Australian Open going on the telly. Is that how you say the television, the telly? TV. Telly, I guess, is telephone, huh? That might be British, too. And then this, oh, we got the Barbie. So, Australia Day, it's kind of like, I would say the only thing that's close to similar is like our Independence Day, but it's, it's not as lit, to be honest. We're gonna be barbecuing. We're gonna have to clean up this back area. So gorgeous out here. It's about 85 degrees. And the cool part is, it snowed like crazy in Utah today. So they got like two feet of snow. And I just have to thank myself. Even though it was hectic, we thought we had an Airbnb. We went there, it wasn't what we expected. So search, search, search. Because it's Australia, Australia Day weekend, everything was booked up. We finally found this place and I'm very happy with it. So I was frustrated, had to remind myself. I have a lot to be grateful for. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Thank you! <laughs> and then it's Ozzy, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Ozzy, Oi, Ozzy, Oi, Ozzy, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Is it? We just made the rest of the So we jumped in uh, the pool at Bronte today. It's no Cronulla. No, no mate, what are you doing? Where I know. Is this, city? <laughs> this is city living. This is city living, yeah. but it's good living in the city. I mean, if you have to live someplace in the city, this isn't bad. I agree. This is my favorite photo. These are vegans in 1960, that's what I reckon. What do you think, Baker? 100. <laughs> but look at, look at, look at the, just the, the team we've assembled around this table You need here. to show your, your cooking skills. Oh yeah. Well, I need to actually take the chicken off the Barbie because I think it's yeah. done, and I think Baker Life yeah. is <laughs> ready for it. Chicken on the Barbie. Yeah. Where's the shrimp? Yeah, chicken on the Barbie. Yeah. 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 It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've been used to vlogging, like just me and the camera. So I'm trying to get better at it. How good is this room, though? So this is where we've been staying. It's our last day here in Bondi slash Sydney. Sad face. I am really sad about it. I love it here. I love this house. I could definitely move here. It's about a $3.5 million house, what I found out. So me saying I could live here isn't anything like, oh my gosh, you could live there? Yeah, it's $3.5 million. I could live here, so. And it's right in the middle of Bondi, which is partly why it's so expensive. 
Bondi is definitely like the Venice Beach of Australia. Like Venice Beach, kind of all of LA is kind of dirty and Venice Beach is really dirty. Australia is pretty dang clean. So Bondi is definitely cleaner than Venice, but it's so cool. It's, you know, surfing. So I'm gonna miss it, but we're gonna be heading up to the Central Coast tomorrow. We're gonna be doing a little house shopping, maybe. Just, just to see, just, just for fun. We'll see how it goes.